Okay, but you know, you said that the people came in and told you what had happened, yeah. that people had been arrested. Yes. And what happened from there? And what happened then, that there was a court case with all these people, uh, and they lost their job, it was in a paper, and uh, there was a court case, and, but I mean, I don't think they, you know, they, lots of lawyers were, got involved in it, you know, and they didn't, um, they didn't win, no, they, were, they didn't win the case, because then the case was thrown out to, at, at the court, but by that time it had done a lot of damage to the people, because they lost their job, mm -hmm. because, you know, and everybody knew then they were gay people. Now at that time, it was illegal to have... It was illegal, all right? I should to know that, you know? Well, because I, I should know that. <laughs> because I had experience about being beaten up. Beaten up by who? Well, I don't know, I'm gay. It's obvious because you were gay. Yeah. Now you worked in King's Cross from approximately in the early... Oh, no, I didn't get beaten up in King's Cross. I got beaten up on when I used to work in... in um, in the box factory. Yeah. And the box factory was in Nagville, I think. Was it? No, it was in Silverwater. Silver. Silverwater, not Silverwater. Yes. And then um, then when we sold it to the box factory, I went and worked for my uncle down the market. That's why I met Ozzy, my boss from there. Um, he used to come in the morning and have um, uh, coffee and, and, this, and roll. And anyway, so I mean, I knew it. It was also because he spoke Italian. But I didn't know that he spoke ten language. So anyway, then I left my uncle because I had an argument with my uncle. And I went to the shoe shop. The shoe shop guy, yeah, Joshua, he also in the market. He wanted me to go to um, Hemington because the market was moving to Hemington. But I didn't want to go. So he sacked me straight away, two weeks before Christmas. So and when I come back here, because I, used to, I was working here, Wednesday and Sunday, so I told Ozzy, I haven't got a job, I got sick. Oh, he said, he said, yeah, not too worry, he said, you got a job here for the rest of your life. And it's true that you've had a job here for the rest of your life. I did. And yeah. you're still working here. And I still have, well, you could say that working, you know. Well, so, you, you've you know, been here and then you were the owner of the business. Years, 55 years. Everybody thought so that was my job. No, I only worked there. And I then, worked, then, then because you... Because Ozzy was never there. As soon as I used to come at six o'clock, and in those days I used to park my car right outside there. Well, things have changed since then, hasn't it? And you, yeah. you, you sold the business, but you still come every Sunday and you work as a, you do the washing up. Yes, yes, not sold, I rented yeah, there. Rented there. And my friends, I rented out to my friends, don't forget. Yes. Don't forget to say that. They used to come here, um, sh shameless, Jamie and the line. She was about 18, and so then she's, and then she's got a daughter's twenty, is that right? So, you know, see how long ago was that. Now, um, in the 1970s or the late 1970s, um, how were gay people treated in King's Cross? Well, um, I don't know, you know, they were, I don't know. Were they accepted? Or the most accepting place in Sydney, I guess? Well, so they say, but look, that's all the rubbish. People still got bashed and robbed. No, I should know because I got robbed a lot of times. Every time I bring somebody home, they robbed me, of course. So this is my fault. No, I got nothing but the blame of bringing assholes to my place. You know. Then in 1984, the New South Wales government changed the law. It was, wasn't illegal anymore. Did you see that make a difference to society or the way people get Not really. People are still the same. Still, still, still the same. Still. It takes a long time to... It's like now the gay marriage, you know. Everybody rushing to get married. No. I know a lot of people who died of AIDS. A lot. All right? In the East, everybody used to die in those days. Yeah. Like the eighties, you know. I went and saw my friend David after, after Ward 17. He was there. My friend David from New Zealand. David Ryan. And I was shocked. I never seen people looking like they were like... Like... People with it from... Um, Ashworths, you know, the, 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 the prison camp. And they, and they were all dying. Of course, I, you know, a lot of my customers, a lot of my friends died of AIDS in those days. You know, used to be, me and Elizabeth used to go to a funeral. Oh, that's wonderful. So, uh, King's Cross heavily involved. And I think a lot of people think that uh, Mardi Gras is something to do with Oxford Street. But it's not. I don't think so. It's the modern parade is in Oxford Street, but the actual Mardi Gras event happened here, right here in King's Cross. Yeah. Yeah.
But Oxford Street, only uh, Oxford Street is the match there from, from the domain, I think. It's the car from the domain. Yes, I, uh, I have to do one of the plots for the Fifi, because she's on the show on. Yes, I help them to decorate, and then I come here to work. And I suppose you'd better get back to work and say thank you for talking with us today. Oh, that's wonderful. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you for asking. <laughs>